Welcome back to the Caribou Data Science Channel. Today is uh, interesting. Why does that keep happening? Why do I keep changing databases? Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Got briefly got a brief interruption there. Welcome back to the Caribou Data Science Channel. This is the afternoon of uh, Thursday, December the 10th, 2020, here in central Ohio in the U.S. <laughs> and I'm getting ready to run a, a very quick analysis, COVID-19 analysis for the uh, for the country of uh, for the country of Finland. All right, and uh, you can see three three different plots: daily cases, daily deaths, and daily mortality rate. And on top of all three of these this data, I will plot a seven-day moving average. Okay. Now, the first thing I want you to realize is <clears throat> the first thing I want you to realize is that, <clears throat> that daily deaths is the single best. You know, according to Washington University, the single best measurement of the spread of a pandemic is daily deaths. Okay, not cumulative deaths. Not daily cases, not cumulative cases, not hospital beds. The single best, single measure, best measure of a pandemic is uh, daily deaths, and that's what that's what the European Center for Disease Prevention Controls data set is. It is a daily database, meaning meaning each row only represents the total cases or deaths for that day. Okay, so let's come back over here then. Okay, sheets, insert, row above, say date. Okay, so now we're going to say seven day cases. This is mortality rate. This is average mortality rate. So we'll come down here. We're going to create a seven day moving average for cases. <clears throat> then we're simply going to drag this file all the way down to here. But obviously, Finland, you have a lot of days when you, when you don't have any cases, which is, which is very good. So now we got uh, the average number of cases, <clears throat> the seven day moving average for cases and deaths. Now we're going to come down here, we're going to plot uh, Average number and the mortality rate. The mortality rate is simply deaths divided by cases. Okay. Of course, you, you, what you can see, you, you got a lot of. <clears throat> So this, this average mortality isn't going to tell us a whole lot. Because you have a really low mortality rate in a lot of days, okay? Okay. So first of all, let's plot. Let's change this format to a date. Okay. Let's plot cases along with seven-day moving average for cases. Thank you. 
Okay. Well, this is very good news. I mean, Okay. Now this is different. Most most of the countries. Well, that's weird. Okay. So let's take a look at Denmark's cases. Their cases are spiking a lot. Up, high, up above 600, maybe carrying it back down. Their deaths, but their deaths are very low. They, they mean there are 10 deaths since the, high, the most number of deaths since, let's uh, say, July is 10. The first spike was only 45 deaths. Okay. Mortality rate very low, very low. Okay, so here, here you go. Mortality rate is very, very low. You can see that if we scroll down here. Okay. 1.6% is the current mortality rate. So it's, 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 it's been 1 to 5%, okay? Okay, so this, uh, this concludes the report for Finland today. I hope you finished, folks. Have found us somewhat encouraging. Uh, the 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 death the number of deaths certainly is encouraging. The, the mortality rate is very low now since since July. Mortality has been at the most ten a couple of spikes, but overall, you're not really seeing that much going on here. Okay, so very good job, Finland. So anyway, this, thanks for your thanks for your time, today, folks. We'll catch you later on on a couple more EU reports.